the morning. It's Wednesday, September 19th. It's day number four. We gotta get some miles in today. Good morning on day number four. We already got a mile and a half in and we're at Britain Peak here. Making our way around Carlton Peak. Here. Uh, of course, we didn't have time to go all the way to the top, which is a pretty epic view, but we're uh, navigating this rock field here now. It's 7.53 in the morning, we made it to the first overlook of the Temperance River. Got 5.1 miles for the day. And we're gonna be stopping at the Temperance for a quick water break. All right, so conditions report. We're coming into the Temperance River. I've got uh, oh, just shy six miles in on the day and feeling really good. We got an early start this morning. Got out the door at 5.30. We got a good, good jump on the day, just finished with Carlton Peak. And now we're coming into the Temperance. You saw the overlook there. It was the first one. Now we're coming into where the, the trail parallels the river. So my left knee has been doing really well. Um, I have been medicating, so I take uh, 400 milligrams, basically two tablets, every four hours or so, <clears throat> as needed. So I, my biggest problem is the downs. Ups, I'm feeling great, great, great. On the way down, I really gotta watch my footfall. Uh, this trail, for those of you that know, the roots and the rocks, they are everywhere. On these straightaways, like the Temperance River is great, making up some really good time. I'm trying to keep uh, anywhere from a 3.2 to 3.4 if I can on these flats. Uh, the Carlton Peak area really slowed me down this morning. Uh, you'd be lucky, I was lucky if I could keep a one and a half, one to one and a half mile pace through there because you're kind of negotiating yourselves down rocks and it's just slow. So, it's gonna be a big day, our biggest day so far yet. Uh, we're gonna to have to surpass a 40 mile day today. So the plan is uh, the record holder stayed, I believe tonight, or at least Mr. Ward did, the previous record holder at East Baptism. I gotta check where the new record holder stayed, but we wanna stay past him. So we're basically gaining a few miles on day four, five, and six. Tomorrow's gonna be tough. Check the weather forecast, and they're projecting two inches of rain starting around noon, and it's not supposed to let up. So we're gonna get a lot of rain. Starting to see light at the end of the tunnel here. It's really tough in the mornings. I gotta tell you, you get to camp and you take that backpack. Anytime we stop, anytime I stop, my feet start hating me. Um, I, ha I do not have any blisters yet. Got over 100 miles on the trail and look at the Temperance River. You see the rock cairns that people put up? They're kind of fun, but this is probably one of my favorite, most favorite areas of uh, Superior Hiking Trail in the North Shore is the Temperance River area. We haven't gotten to it yet, but the river cuts its way down through deep gorges. And it's very beautiful. I got the resources. Just need to make sure I have the stamina and I don't injure myself any more than I already have. So, that's the plan. <laughs> All right, I'll show you a few views of Temperance here. It's easier to film here on these straight tracks. So, we'll give you a few views before we leave. So here's my water source for the day. This is the top of the Temperance where it comes into all these really cool falls. There's Temperance right behind me. Beautiful. Hard to not stop. Made it to the Cross River. And the Cross River Bridge. And to the left are the Cross campsites. South and North Cross River. Never had a chance to stay here. Super nice. But we gotta press on. We're uh, just outside of Crosby Manitou State Park, 17 miles into the day. It's a rough day. 
There's a reason that uh, Mr. Ward called it the crux. To get ahead of the record pace, I have to do probably somewhere right around 40 miles. And I'm only 17 in, and it's like 130. So for that to happen, I can pick up my pace, and it's going to be a long day. The compound issues, if you can hear it, it's been sprinkling out all afternoon. So we should be coming in across the man to here shortly. Hey, we're at uh, 2289 on the day. It's 1620, so we got a ways to hike. Here's what we got coming up. Caribou, we're at East Caribou Creek Camp right now. You see the falls, this is where I just got water. The uh, campsite is up that away. Looking back down at our itinerary, we got hit all that. Flipping the page, we need to do all of this. There's our Mr. Ward camp on night four. Sanju Creek, North Sanju. There's our picket camp. So. Probably not gonna be able to make it to that, so it looks like that might be it for the night. Got a long ways to go. It's gonna be an 11 o'clock night. If you look at me right now, you'll see that I look tired because I am. This is by far the hardest thing I've ever done. And I'm lacking sleep. So. I'm gonna pack up and get back on the trail now I got water. <laughs> well, good morning, Milos. What? <laughs> I woke up and it was burning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good morning on day number five. It's uh, Thursday, let's see, 16, 17, 18, 20th. And I got 7.72 miles in on the day so far. And on the way to section 13. And I'm waiting for the weather to open up. We passed some hikers that tell us that the uh, weather's supposed to turn real bad. They have the potential of about two inches of rain coming. Okay, here's where you can see where we're at here. 0.4 to Finland Rec, Park Hill Road 3.2. Um, Right now, I'm right on pace with Mike Ward, but he's not the current record holder. That would be Mr. AJ Pickett, who was went five miles ahead of or I camped last night. Uh, I ended at 10.30, I just, I need to get some sleep. So, um, when you're whacking your feet on roots and rocks and stuff, it gets to a point where it becomes just too dangerous, so. But yesterday was the crux. Today, the trail has flattened out quite a bit. Still have some elevation. It's gonna be another late night, but we're hoping to get in 41 today. And then possibly 42 tomorrow. The one thing that uh, I did learn about this trip was that uh, calorie, caloric intake, food. I pack way too much. Way too much. Um, so. That's an issue. I'm not eating as much as I packed. I thought that trying to get in 5,000 calories was realistic. The first day, I was able to eat without a problem. Second day, I didn't really have much of an appetite at all. So, And I'm finding that I'm only eating about half of the snacks that I bring for my traveling and lunch. Uh, the other thing I would definitely do differently is I would not bring a filter. <laughs> um, I would instead chemically treat waste a lot of time by filtering. Back. So we want to go to the rec center, but we want to go this way. So, sawmill bog, four, six. So we'll, we'll be section 13 in probably a couple hours. Okay, so what's worked well and what hasn't? Uh, water bottle system, awesome. I wouldn't change that a thing. Having the water bottle on each side allows me to put regular water and an amino or a protein drink in there, and that's nice. 
I said earlier, the only thing I would change is, is chemically treating the water. There have been a few water sources, I'm not gonna lie, we haven't filtered. They're high in elevation and they're small, very, very clear streams and we're just taking the chance. I know that there are people that have done that. Uh, when Redbeard and the ZPEX crew came through here, Redbeard did not filter any of his water through here and he said he didn't get sick, so. All right, 11.29 of the day. Here's a popular attraction on the trail, the Glacial Erratic. Pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. Ah, there it is, all right, good times. Pressing on. I'll make our way way across the sawmill bog area. Everything is super wet. So, I already slipped once, so I gotta watch it, especially on stuff like this. So, welcome everybody to section 13. Whew. I am tired. Well, we made it to the top. What the hell of a climb, and it's just starting to rain out. We spent the entire afternoon exploring up here. Unfortunately, we got a lot more miles to do. So, that's all you get to see. But that's my view. Made it to Solomon Sawmill Dome. As you can see, um, it's a mess up here. All right, 2350, and we just made High Falls to the Beach State Park. We're gonna be stopping to get some, uh, some water on this rainy, crappy day. We're probably gonna be ending early today. I think what the plan is gonna be is we're gonna find the closest campsite to here get about six hours of sleep and then start up again sometime around midnight one in the morning so uh, weather is sapping the energy really fast uh, well a change of plans everybody fortunately mother nature is not going to be cooperating for the next three days and uh, this rain has uh, kicked up and we got 20, 30 mile an hour winds coming in. And we just can't make the miles we need for today. We need to get in 42. And uh, we could definitely bed down if we need to. And then uh, wake up and get some more in. But if we're dealing with rain, all day today, Thursday, all day Friday, and all day Sunday, it ain't gonna happen. So, unfortunately, gotta make the difficult decision to uh, terminate. So that's what we're gonna do. So we'll see you back at Tedaguchi. Right there. It just blows the funk all over. 